But honestly, Desi Perkins can sell me anything and I'll buy it. I didn't even brush my teeth, hello. I mean, if you just walked by me in Target one day, you saw this, really, would you call me out? Aloha Nui Kako. Okay, at first I wasn't gonna put a brow on, but then I thought, well, I'm gonna be applying these lashes, so I better balance the face out a little bit. I've been loving this Urban Decay brow blade, guys. For real, for real. I'm just gonna talk about this just a touch for anybody who's just wanting a quick brow like this, okay? Because it really is that fast and with the blade side, not the pencil part, to my surprise. I thought I would use more of the pencil part, but I'm using the blade side more often. And by blade, I mean the ink side. It has a very sharp tip. You can get really precise lines, but not very dark when you initially go in with it. It's very subtle. I mean, you can build it up very quickly, but at least you have that control. But I just wanted to tell you, okay, on this eye, I used the pencil. On the left side, your right, I used the blade. The blade side took way less time way less time and it looks so much better in my opinion this eye needs a little bit of help it looks a little rough around the edges this is clean and this isn't even with any concealer or anything this is just a blade i honestly did not think i would use the blade at all or maybe a little bit just for the front you know to get those really fine brush strokes but i used it for the whole brow the entire thing to the very tail end so i 100 recommend this i got this in the shade dark drapes it's a little bit too bright Brown for me i would probably go back and get the black because i love it i i'm obsessed but you know what after going through how many of these brow ultra slims which i still recommend for the drugstore but it's like i go through how many of these in a month you know i use one up in like a week and a half if i'm spending the coin i might as well just spend the coin for one thing as opposed to buying multiple of this and not even getting close to the same effect as this high end you know what i'm saying so that's where you kind of gotta use judgment find what works really well for you and find what you're just kind of splurging money on when you really could just be splurging on one thing instead of making it seem like you're spending less money but you're spending seven dollars here seven dollars there and then next thing you know if i bought four of these pencils in one month and they're about what nine bucks each that's 36 bucks this is 26 dollars if i'm not mistaken so there you go that gives you the answer anyway we're not here to talk about brows we're here to talk about lashes and i am going to try on for you live right here on camera the Eyelore London Faux Pro Lux Lash Extension Kit. Desi Perkins talked about this on her stories, I think like yesterday. It's the first time I ever actually swiped up and bought something from an influencer. But honestly, Desi Perkins can sell me anything and I'll buy it. And specifically lashes, anything lashes I'm jumping at now. Because if you're not aware, I have an incredibly noticeable bald spot here on my right eye, on my top lash line. And it's a problem. It's a very big problem. I do, oh my gosh. It happened one day with this eyelash curler. I didn't clean it. There was still residue from mascara and eyeliner on it. And I went to curl my lashes and this whole cluster of lash came off. You know, and it's not helping too with post partum and motherhood and losing hair and all the kind of stuff so that on top of that recipe for disaster so this is your sign to clean your eyelash curler okay all of that waterproof mascara now sis right now do not wait till tomorrow right now so yeah that's what this video is we're gonna try this on right now yeah so like i said i swiped up bought it ordered it off of target and there was a five percent off discount i think so i got a pretty good deal it was 30.99 but there was a five percent or ten percent off discount so i got a couple bucks off and you know like i said anything lashes i'm just jumping at now because of that huge bald spot and i don't know how these are going to work with that bald spot because these are essentially like individual lashes so because i have that bald spot there i don't know how it's gonna look so let's open it up it does say the type of curl that it is which is c curl salon finish effortless application 18 hour wear reusable up to eight times that's good so long as i can keep track of them so it comes with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve clusters of the lash and then it comes with the bond and the seal i wonder how it looks oh it's just like a little spoolie and is the other side white i'm assuming yeah it is she posted to her stories a couple days ago so i don't think i can go back to her stories and see how she applied it but i kind of remember a little bit how she did it oh and it comes with this nice pair of tweezers i've never used these type of tweezers before with this curve shape i'm nervous especially doing this on camera let me zoom you guys in 
Hello. So it says, step one, lightly dab the adhesive bond on the base of your lashes on the underside. Let me get step two down first. Place lash flares on the underside of your natural lashes and build desired look. So we're gonna do the bond side. I'm not gonna curl my lashes or anything. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Lightly dab the adhesive bond on the base. And you know what, before I even do that, I'm just gonna set myself up for success. Oh, they're easy to remove. Okay, I thought they were like regular lashes where they stick to the thing and you gotta shape them and roll them around, but they come, they come right off. Well, kind of, yeah. Let's do three. So they're ready to go. I'm just gonna poop and then take them off. Oh my God, guys, say a prayer, say a prayer. You know Desi, she makes everything look easy, so. Okay, what's step three? Use applicator to secure flares to your natural lashes by pressing them together, and then the sealant. Thinking too much about it. Oh, sis, it's five to 12. It's about to be February 20th, pretty soon. Okay. Do we let it sit for a little while? Nope. Lightly dab the adhesive bond on the base of your lash. Okay, that's right, okay. Okay, so lightly dab. Oh, this is a bald spot. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work then. Oh, let's see. So lightly dabbing. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Dabbed. We're gonna put one, one cluster. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna put one in the bold spot. Ready? <gasps> Yo. Yo, that went on so easy. Oh my god, keep going, keep going. <gasps> oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That went on way too easy. What the heck? It is kind of sticking to that side, so maybe I'll put one. It's crooked. Mary's. There we go. Make sure you get it on there good. Not like me. One more. You know what? That actually doesn't look that bad. I did it very, very not good. But it actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, one thing I will say though, the adhesive does get on this thing. And if you don't clean it, like how I told you to clean your eyelash curler, it will stick to the lash. You wanna make sure that you just take your time. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the bond. Just in the areas I think I wanna put. I think I wanna put one right here and then, I don't know, maybe just one right there. Yeah, so definitely go ahead and pull them out and just have them ready to go so that you're not having to fuss with them. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that bond. Oh, okay, okay. Blend them with your natural lashes. Oh man, if only they were this way in real life. There's like this huge gap right there, but that does look pretty cute. Looks cute. For not having any lash hair right there at all, that looks pretty good to me. You wonder how it does that, yeah? Because it's not, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, look at that. That doesn't look half bad, you know? That doesn't look half bad. I don't know how to explain where it's sticking to. So it's not on the skin part or the top waterline, the underline, whatever you want to call it. It's not sticking to that because the bond goes on the lash roots. It's like a 360 type of cover. So somehow it just sticks itself to the bond that you applied and it's there. I mean, that doesn't look half bad. I don't know what it looks like from the top or how it looks in the bottom. Looks pretty good to me. Another thing I will point out, I don't know if it makes a difference because the instructions don't say to follow the natural way of your lashes. So what I mean by that is, you know, this is the outer corner and then you apply this towards the inner corner. It doesn't say that anywhere on the box. You just pretty much put this wherever you want. So that's kind of what I'm doing. But then when I looked at it, it was like, oh, so some clusters are a little put together. Some of them are a wee bit longer. Some of them are a little shorter-ish, not really. But I think they look that way because when I took them out with the tweezers, maybe it kind of changed the shape of the lash. I don't know. But looking at these now, I think maybe these on the inner corner are a little bit more flared out. And then as you get towards this end, it gets a little tighter or it gets a little bit more scrunched up. 
So since this side looks a little bit more flared out, I'm gonna go with this side on the outer corner and then work my way in this way. I think I went the opposite way on this side. That's why it looks a little bit wonky, but maybe they should have specified that on the box because it doesn't say that to follow this way of the lash. It just says to fill as you want. Or maybe you should already know. So I don't know if you have to be a pro with individual lashes for this, maybe to keep that in mind. I mean, I ain't one, you know what I mean? So I don't know, use your judgment. But I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna pull them all out so you guys can see what I'm doing. One, and you wanna make sure you get the whole thing. You don't wanna pull them by the tips. You wanna try and get as close to the base as possible so that you're pulling the whole lash and not just <gasps> like that. Ugh. Make sure you grab as close to the root as possible. Jeez, yeah, so that does kind of change the shape. Now it's a little bit all wonky, the last one I pulled out. Practice makes better practice. Oh, I have to put the seal on the bottom. Okay, I have to use the seal on this side. Or should I wait to, no, I'll just do the seal right now. Brad, it doesn't look that bad. Oh gosh, why did I go all the way up? I mean, I probably could have done a better job, but you know, for a first timer, I'm impressed. So I'm just pressing it all the way around. It. cool oh i'm excited okay let's do the bond so i think i'm gonna do the bond section by section now i'm not gonna do it all the way across so that way it doesn't dry if you're still working on the outer corner or in the inner corner so that way you get a pretty good even application of the bond i'm putting it on just like regular mascara not all the way to the very tips of my natural lashes but concentrating it really at the base of the root doesn't hurt my eyes too so that's good boom Next, bond. Okay, so here, we, here we go. Here we go, it's not sticking to the thing. Technical difficulties here. That was a little rough, because this adhesive will stick to your natural lashes if you just so happen to get the bond on there, which you probably will, if you want to put a good amount of the bond on there. And I don't know if you need that much of the bond. For the next lash, I'm gonna put less. I just want to make sure these tweezers are clean, so. And it does say to dab it on. I've been kind of putting it on like a mascara, which I don't think you should. Let me put the seal on this side. Okay, what do we think? Okay guys, that's the final look. Let's see how it looks from far away. Yo, I have lashes there. How crazy is that? I'm not upset at this at all. I mean, they don't look the exact same, but I like that and I think that should be the case. It was a little rougher on the edges. I much prefer individuals over a full lash band anyway, but it does take a little bit more time. I like the look of an individual, but I like the quickness of a full lash band. I think I could get the hang of this if I just practice a little bit more and kind of get the shape down as far as placement. I mean, I definitely want to cover up that bold spot on this eye, which it did. I mean, can you even tell? Can you even tell? I mean, let me just, I don't know what you guys can see up top there. You shouldn't be able to see anything because everything's on the bottom of the lash. You probably can see now something, you know, where each individual lash is. I would give Eyelore, I would give you uh, an eight out of 10. Only because I need a little bit more practice. Let me just bring you guys in again so you can see. I don't know if you could see the adhesive a little bit from up there. I just push them up a little bit. G Bra, are you serious? I can't even tell. I mean, I can, I know I can tell, but I just can't tell. I mean, if you just walked by me in Target one day, you saw this, really? Would you call me out? I mean, you probably would now that you see this video, but I mean, if you didn't know, I have lashes. Let me see if you can see underneath with the light now. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so eight out of 10 eye lower. Great purchase, I, I think. So it says reusable up to eight times, 18 hour wear. It is officially 12 o'clock, 12.30. I'm gonna start the time now because I'm finished. I put the seal on, they're both done. So 18 hours from now is what? Tomorrow morning at six or the next morning at six? I don't know, but I will definitely leave this on for 18 hours, but I'm gonna end this application video right now. And then I guess I'll wrap it up at the 18 hour mark. 
gosh, okay, wish me luck. I'll see you guys at my next check-in. All right, y'all, it's after four in the morning. Last check-in. What is that? What is that white thing? Is that just a gap? I think it might just be a gap. But I mean, so far, so good. But keep in mind, this is my first time doing this. So, you know, for my first time, I don't know. I would say that looks pretty good. I know from afar, it probably looks a little wonky. Let's see how much longer it holds up. 10.40 in the morning. I'm sorry if I have eye crusties. Okay, how do they look? I'm sorry if there's stuff around my eye. I just got up. Covering from my 4 a.m. bedtime. How do they look? How do they look? Oh, not all. Well, what's going on here? I will say though, this, this eye has been tearing for a little while now. Not because of the lashes, just because my eyes get watery in the morning. I was yawning multiple times. Yeah, so there was a lot of waterworks on this eye. But I mean, not too bad. I'm gonna see if I can separate this. But this eye looks pretty good. Kind of clustered, I think, for my tears. We'll check back in in a few more hours and see where we are. All right, you guys, I think I've had these things on for much longer than 18 hours. Ugh, what is it, two days later? One, I don't know. Anyway, they are holding up very well. Definitely recommend. Slept with my makeup on for the first time in how long? I still don't recommend it, okay? Because it's horrible, it really is. This will be, I just got up, gosh. I didn't even brush my teeth, hello. This will be the end of the video and my rating on this, eight out of 10, or maybe nine out of 10, just because the application was a little tricky for the first time. But I mean, wear wise, look at this. Yeah, just take your time with application. I think you'll get better at it as you practice, obviously. But the thing about it now is, uh how to take it off so i'm assuming you just pluck it off with your fingers and then store it on the case and i guess clean the glue off yeah and they're kind of they kind of have like white lint on them for my bedding that's not fun individuals are so much harder to keep track of so for it being 32 dollars and you getting your money's worth out of it you really have to maintain it very well make sure you put them back clean them brush them out and do whatever you gotta do so that's it without them on and none of my real lashes came off with it too so that's a big plus because we're trying to keep all that we have you know what i'm saying so you can see like some of them kind of flared out some of them are still pretty good in shape but i think if i just get like a spoolie and brush them out like this one is pretty pretty done with but for the most part pretty pretty good now i'm gonna hop in the shower take off this makeup and be done with it all right guys i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this um what 36 hour review which really should have only been 18 but that just goes to show you it does last for a while i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so that you're notified every time that i upload and let me know what you want to see next hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys soon love you we home